Hello everyone, I am the Basement Weeb, you can call me Nova, and today we will be talking about Kaguya-sama Love is War. Now this isn't going to be related to the Sub vs. Dub series that I have coming down the pipeline, but I was, you know, letting my mind wander, I was just thinking about things, letting my mind wander as you do, and it wandered over to the caddier scene from Kaguya-sama Love is War. Now, um, and I was thinking about it, and, you know, just letting it kind of, my brain kind of chew on it, and I was like, I really like this scene. It's a very cute scene. I like these characters. And you know what? I want to talk about it for a video. So, here we are. Um, but also, it, it, I'm recording on Easter, so happy Easter to everyone retroactively. You know, just in general. Anyway, <sighs> sorry. I am very tired today. I went to bed way too late. But, um, anyway, so we're going to talk about the cat ear scene from season one, the nail polish scene from season one, and the uh, eyes thing, the uh, fact that uh, sh how much Shinomiya likes uh, Shirogane's glare, which is more prevalent in season two. It comes up in season one, but it is much more of a big deal in season two. So we're gonna talk, we're talking about Kadish first because that was kind of what led to the creation of this video. So um, in the cat ear scene, for those of you who haven't seen it, um, Shirogane and the student council are trying to get ready for a party of French students who are coming over to Shichin Academy for like a, uh, I don't know, like a diplomat. I think it was a diplomatic thing. I watched this, I watched it a couple of weeks ago and I didn't remember the exact reason. But, um, they, can't, they you know, they're having a party and they're having French kids from a French academy over and they're just trying to kind of figure stuff out. And uh, apparently French people were like cosplay and so they were kind of had some cosplay stuff out because they were trying to just establish good relations through like a shared love of cosplay because you know Japanese people really like cosplay too. So um, they had some cat ears and Chica put some cat ears on Kaguya and like then in the next two seconds you kind of hear uh, sh uh, Shirogane, scream <laughs> um, Shirogane screaming about how cute it is, and Aaron Dismick does a fantastic job with that, and I'm definitely going to be talking about that in the Sub vs. Dub series. But yeah, it's it's really funny, because he thinks it's just the cutest thing that he's ever seen in his entire life. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's cute. You know, Kaguya is a cute anime girl, she looks cute with cat ears. But I don't think she's the cutest person to ever live, you know? Like, I think she's cute, but not that cute, you know? Because I just, you know... It just be that way. She's cute, but she's not like the cutest thing to ever live. Personally, for me, that's my baby sister because I'm biased. But anyway, um, but so, but you know, because Shirogane is head over heels in love with Kaguya, even if he would never admit it within a million years, um, he thinks it's the cutest thing ever. And the same thing happens when you know two minutes later he puts on cat ears. She freaks out because she's like, "Oh my gosh, it's adorable!" You know, because she's head over heels in love with him too. And it's just like. They neither one of them realizes that the other that they think that the other thinks they're f the cutest thing to ever grace the face of the earth, because they're in love with each other, and that feels realistic. Because when someone's in love with you, when you love someone, you're gonna think all their little quirks and the things that make them unique or anything they do is adorable. Like my sister and her fiance are like that, you know. Like my sister will do something dumb or whatever that's a quirk that she has, and he'll think it's the cutest thing ever. And same thing with her for him you know it's it's how people who are in love act and I really liked that it felt really real you know and silly and cute and I liked it a lot so TLDR I like the cat ear scene it's really good let's move on so next thing we're going to talk about is the nail polish scene now this one is something that I don't really have any experience with because I have not had anyone in my life that you know notices when I wear nail polish like I've never well I've had girlfriends notice when I wear nail polish you know, um, all that stuff. And, cause you know, girls tend to notice that more. I've not had a guy friend ever compliment me on my nails. So the fact that Shirogane noticed when Kage wore nail polish for the first time and wanted to compliment her on it really bad shows that he pays attention to what she does and cares about her a lot. But, you know, it's, it's really funny watching him cause he's like, like she thinks he doesn't notice. She thinks he doesn't care. And he's just like, why is she wearing nail polish? Why is she wearing nail polish? What's going on? How do I react? I want to compliment her. I think it's cute. What do I do? Because, like, you know, two minutes ago, Ishigami got chewed out like crazy for complimenting on Chika's hair because he noticed that her shampoo, because it was stuffy in there and, you know, he could smell her shampoo better, he could tell that she had changed her shampoo and she called him a pervert. And I'm just like, well, 
okay, not really. Like, no. Like, he, he didn't say it in a creepy way. He he didn't say it in a... It, he was making an observation. You know? He was like, hey, did you change your shampoo? You know? It's kind of stuffy in here. Maybe it's because it's stuffy in here, but you smell, like, sweeter than normal. Do you, like, change your shampoo? And... You know, as an advocate of true gender equality, in the words of Lord Nuxtanor, may he reign supreme forever, um, he just, you know, he wasn't being a creep, he was just making an observation. I think if it had been a girl that said it, they wouldn't have cared, so it just bugged me, you know, leave, leave my man Ishigami alone, he deserves only good things, you know? Sometimes he's a pervert, and when he does, you know, Chica bring out the newspaper, but, you know, when he's not being a creep, just leave him alone, you know? Just saying. But yeah, um, just watching Miyuki struggle with that was really cute, and I thought, and I loved it so much. So, final thing we're gonna talk about is Kaguya, the Kaguya's um, very strong attraction to Miyuki's glare. Now, um, this again is much more prevalent in season two. They've got like an entire like chunk of episode dedicated to what happens when he loses that glare for spoiler reasons, kind of. But um. You know, he, when that happens, he loses the glare for a day, and she's like, where did it go, where did it go, where did his cool eyes go? I don't understand, I'm so confused, you know? But, like, they do mention it in season one. Uh, I think the first uh, conversation that Kaguya has with Kashiwagi, uh, she bring, uh, Kaguya brings it up. But, um, yeah, there is an episode in season two, well, like a chunk of episode that's dedicated to that. And, you know, like, when he gets the glare back, she's very happy about it let's let's say but you know that's one thing like everyone else is like oh my gosh it's kind of scary and she's like "Ooh, I like I like the glare I like the glare <laughs> and all that and it's just like and that's something else it's like it's a quirk of his that she thinks is really attractive and other people are just like don't get it because they don't care about him the way she does and I thought that was really good you know like it's something that's realistic <laughs> because sometimes there are things about people that like if someone loves them, they find it attractive, and if you don't love that person, anyone outside of that would just be like, I don't understand the appeal, like, at all. I'm so lost. And and I like that. It, it, feels, it feels realistic, and obviously everything is, you know, exaggerated for effect, but they're cute. I like their relationship. It's a lot of fun to watch. But anyway, um, I'm gonna leave the video here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I will be linking my Patreon in the description below. Um, happy Easter to everyone, you know, like, <laughs> retroactively by a lot, but, um, I still don't have a proper outro, so 